finally got this printer to work so now we can start making some transfers like this and i'm so so excited to show you guys all the details but first we're gonna pack some orders so we'll come back to this i promise but we gotta get work done first and then we can play so let's go pack some orders i'm so excited to finally show you guys the printer um i finally got it up and running which means that i was able to get my fall collection done that's going to be launching tomorrow and i have posted the fall collection already um but i will show you guys that in a bit as well the sweater that i just showed you in the last clip is part of that collection and i hand drew that on procreate so i'm so 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 excited to see my designs come to life with this new printer and i can't wait to show you how to make the transfers and everything i'm gonna just quickly pack some orders and then we can start playing around with the printer so let's get to packing orders So we're about to make an eco solvent transfer and I'm going to be using this printable HTV. This comes in a big roll. This is Sizer Color Print Easy. I'm just going to load that into the printer like that using the back tray. I'm just going to give you a little overview of what I do in the Silhouette Studio. Um, if you want an in-depth tutorial on this, let me know. But I'm not going to do it in this video just because not everyone has a Silhouette. Um, I also want to let you guys know that I do have the Silhouette. I don't have a Cricut. A lot of people think I have a Cricut and I do not. I use Silhouette Studio, but for now, I'm just going to kind of run you through how I do it on here. So I go to print and then I have to change my printer settings. I learned that this is a very, very important step. So then I'm going to just double check my print settings. Okay, so we're going to print this now. Just a little update, this prints extremely slow and that's the way it should be so that the prints come out really good quality. Yeah, I just wanted to show you the real time speed. It does print very slow, I would say maybe two to three minutes per print. So that's just something to consider. But anyways, let's speed this up. So it's done printing out now and this is how it comes out. But it is printing very, very nice. And now we're going to cut this. So you will need a cutting machine to do this. Um, I have the Cameo. I cut these sheets myself, so it's a little wonky, but that doesn't matter. As long as your machine can read the, the registration marks, it shouldn't matter. And this weeds like butter, you guys. I can't wait for you guys to see. All right, you guys, check it out. I just wanna show you guys how butter smooth this weeds you honestly don't even need a weeding pen so i'm just going to show you look at this can you believe that okay so this is the heat transfer tape that i've been using it's by a uh, frisco craft Okay, I think I made it a little too small, but you get the point. All you do is peel it back. I always use the backing of the transfer tape like this. And there you go. That is a transfer that is ready to press. So whenever you're going to press it, you just remove it and look, it peels off super, super smooth. So there you go. That transfer is ready to go. This is how I've been doing it. I finally figured it out. Now I'm able to print whatever I want at home and like all my designs come to life and it's just awesome. Um, but I want to show you the fall collection before I get into like more printer stuff. Um, so I can show you what I've been doing with this printer as of now. And then I will get into if I think it's worth it, the pros, the cons, all that good stuff. So let me show you my fall collection 
first and then we'll get into that first thing i want to show you is the fall girly sweatshirt um and that obviously has the same exact design that we just did um but as you can see it prints just so beautifully everything is very very good quality vibrant and it looks just amazing it passes the stretch test so um, if you stretch it you can see i'm pulling that really hard and it snaps back into place afterwards so that is the first sweatshirt in the collection this is definitely my favorite design okay so my camera died but i'm pretty sure i was saying that i made this design myself on procreate this is, these are all hand drawn i'm really really happy with it so far let me show you another sweater so this is another sweater part of the fall collection it looks like it's molded on there very nicely and i'm really really happy with the results i did do a washing test it survived pretty well i've actually done it for like a couple weeks now with a different shirt that was just kind of like a practice shirt um so i have been testing it out it still looks like brand new so and then we have this design which i am loving so much these little boots are the cutest thing ever um and it's just similar to the pumpkin pie one but instead of pumpkin pies there's just these little boots so this is the third and final sweatshirt that will be part of the launch. And then I did make cups with this printer as well. So I'm going to show you those now. I know I'm probably going to get a ton of questions, especially about these cups. So yes, these cups were made with my printer with um, printable sticker vinyl. And then it has a waterproof laminate on the top. They're pretty solid. Like they're on there pretty solid. It doesn't feel like permanent vinyl. Um, it definitely feels a lot thicker because it is sticker vinyl. It still feels very, very good and like it's not annoying to the touch or anything. If the care instructions are followed, this should last a very long time. This should be solid, again, as long as no one attempts to peel them. I mean, even now you can see like my nail is gripping it and it won't come off. It'll just slide off like that, see? So you have to really try to take this off um, like that, see? Like it won't come off. And so this is the Eco Solvent ink that is in my printer. It prints very, very nice. I'm really, really happy with these results. And again, these are waterproof and they will be permanent as long as the care instructions are followed. So also before I move on to the rest of the collection, I got a couple questions asking me if I'm going to be selling um, the heat transfers um, and cup wraps as well. And I honestly haven't thought about it, um, but if that's something that you guys are interested in, let me know. They wouldn't be this, like my designs though, they would be like, I would have like a separate thing for like different designs because anything that is like my own design specifically for Noeli Creates, I won't be selling. I have a lot of other designs that aren't specific to Noeli Creates. So those I would be willing to sell heat transfers for and cup wraps for as well as digital files. That was another question that I got. I can sell like digital files for other designs that you know aren't particular to my store so if that's something that you guys are interested in let me know again that's for digital files heat transfers and cup wraps i'm really interested to hear your thoughts let me know what you guys think and let's move on to the rest of the collection another part of the collection is this cute little boot sticker it's so so cute i love boots so i had to add this of course and then i also came out with bookmarks these two are part of like the fall collection technically you know so i was like kind of forced to launch the bookmarks at the same time i kind of wanted to do them separately but it's okay but i had these two as well and they're so stinking cute i love making these i also have some normal bookmarks and i made a mistake though when ordering them because this is my first time so one side is backwards to the other and that's how they are for these two as well you can't really tell with these two but they are also backwards um again you can't really tell too much because of the pattern but they are all backwards they're in perfect condition though they're um glossed really good quality they're just a little um backwards so i will count them as a misprint and they'll be sold at a discounted price until i run out of them and hopefully i can that's the last of the collection and it's going to be like a merged fall book collection um so that will be launching tomorrow thursday september 28th at 10 a.m pacific standard time now i wanted to give my final thoughts on the printer and like you know overall what i think about it so first things first there is just so much more creativity and room to do things with um with this printer this is the epson eco tank 15,000. it was 700 dollars. i think i got it on sale for 600 though 
if I remember correctly. I've had this for over a month and it took me up until now to learn how to use this thing. So if that is something that's kind of a con, that is something to consider. It will take a lot longer to learn how to use this. And if you don't have the time, I wouldn't get it right away. A lot of trial and error. I wasted so much money on the printable heat transfer and it's expensive. That's another thing that the heat transfer rolls are pretty expensive. These aren't too bad, but again, like I did waste a lot learning how to do it. So you just have to know that this is going to be a lot of trial and error but these in particular are going to be a little more expensive because the roll of the heat transfer is very expensive so i'll have to charge a little bit more for these and then the ink for this printer is also very expensive so another thing is like for these you have to print buy the sticker vinyl you have to buy the laminate and again it's more ink as well so again a lot more money goes into this overall i would say i'm content i wouldn't say i'm ecstatic or whatever i think i'm still a little pissed off because it took me so long how to use this it's an investment i mean you have to know that going into it it is an investment so yeah overall I would give this about a B rating. I wouldn't say it's an A because it's not as user friendly as I think it should be. Um, so I give this a B rating. Now I think I'm gonna make some magnetic bookmarks and I will show you guys that. Let's make some magnetic bookmarks. So those are all done. That's how they came out. They just snap back into place. Now I want to show you guys how I package these. These are from Got Print. They're just these little backings for the magnetic bookmarks. And I got them with um, unrounded corners because I can just round them here at home. So yeah, I'm going to do that now. And I just use my little hole punch which is in my Amazon favorites linked in the description almost everything I use is in there so if you ever are looking for something it's most likely in the Amazon favorites so I originally didn't want to do this because the flowers get a little bit cut off what do you guys think rounded corners right which one looks better vote in the comments down below so I just slap them on here like that so cute and then I do put these in bags because they're not waterproof. There's no like laminate coating on them or anything. And so in case there is like a water spoil during transit, it won't get ruined if it's in a little baggie. Dude, this is probably one of my favorite packagings that I made. They just look, I don't know, they look so cute. That will do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. And make sure to check out my TikTok and Instagram for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one.